chapter 38, factoring binomials. Recall that a polynomial is a sum of difference of terms, which could be more than one variable, in the form of a x to the n, where a is a coefficient, and n is a whole number. 1, 2, 3, and so on could be 0 also, leading to constant. If a polynomial consists of exactly two terms, then it is a binomial. The prefix bi refers to two, as in bicycle, bilingual, biweekly, bifocal, bipartisan, and so on. We consider factoring binomials of the form a squared plus b squared, which cannot be factored as a rule, a squared minus b squared, a cubed plus b cubed, a cubed minus b cubed, or in general, a to the 2n plus 1, plus or minus b to the 2n plus 1. In other words, a and b are to an odd power, plus or minus. Some textbooks only work with second power. They don't do third degree or third power, and some textbooks do for elementary algebra. For intermediate algebra, you are going to work with these two. OK. A sum of squares in general cannot be factored unless you factor out a greatest common factor. This one is a, an exception. I can factor a to the sixth plus b to the sixth. A difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared, difference of two squares can be written as a plus b times a minus b. Remember, we developed it this way. And I said, memorize it the other way, because you're going to see it again. You're going to see it where you least expect it. You see it very frequently. And then, let me tell you about cubes. <coughs> 